these here at the Worldwide Radio Summit. Oh man, this thing uh, on a scale of one to 10, it's an 11. Every penny anybody ever spent on this is the best investment ever. And I can't wait to be back here next year. Why? Because Joel Denver and All Access are number one. I think it's great. I think it's a very exciting time for radio, all the new media platforms, the appetite for music is bigger than it's ever been, and we can't have too many reasons to get together and celebrate the, the vibrancy of the radio. I think attending an event like this is essential to someone looking to get into radio, just from learning from some of the masters of how to do it properly and stay in touch. What up, y'all? It's Big Boy, Big Boy Radio Network. It is going down worldwide, 2011 Radio Summit. We are here. It's a lot of legends and a lot of cats that's in the future. I'm very excited, as we should be. When was the last time you heard about a great radio battle? When a, a station was just tearing kicking ass in the market. Uh, I think in order to compete in the Google Apple era, we've got to bring back and put a high priority on the magic of radio. They're playing Snoop Dogg across the street, and I'm playing Snoop Dogg here. I've got to give you a reason to listen to Snoop Dogg here, and that's the personality. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I would love to see survive. In radio, it's back to where it was in the early 80s. You need to create an event in your studio. That's what Howard does. It's an event there that we're participating in every morning. And I think Top Radio needs to be about that. Well, we, I know it's what we create. We create a, it's almost, it's a party that you want to be a part of. Remember that from the 80s? Remember that feeling of wanting to be there and show up and be a part of it and feel like it was your intimate connection with those guys or Phil or Rick or whoever, big boy. And it's happening and it happens every night and you want to be there, you don't want to miss it. The exciting thing about like, radio is I think it faces the same challenges as, as a lot of other like media um, media sectors do. So um, you know I think technology is having a massive impact on, on uh, radio at the moment, and it's good to have a forum where people can talk about the challenges and, and talk about the solutions. The analytics and the creativity today um, have to be blended. Both are equally as important, and both are necessary. Um, you know, we need to ask different questions. Um, I recently hired an analytics director uh, from MIT, and, and um, we're asking all kinds of new questions that we've never asked ourselves before. How are you branding? How are you inviting people back? How are you building a positive reputation online? Those are the types of conversations that radio sellers have to be prepared to have. Our quality control is better than that. Higher than ever. Because everything's transparent. Not only are we going to need feedback, but kids see uh, the rehearsal, because someone's got a camera in there, uh, the sound check, the show, the, the uh, early version, the demo. Mm. So you've got to be at the top of your game at all times. So my name is Mike <laughs> McClung from New Zealand On Air, and I promote New Zealand music, and the radio summit has been amazing. And the highlight was the uh, Rick Dees panel today. Rick Dees and Big Boy. Hey, I'm Shane Smith from Dublin's Q102 in Ireland. We've had a great time at the radio summit. It was really, really good, really entertaining. Really looking forward to the showcase tonight. Hey, I'm Dr. Drew, and I'm here at the Worldwide Radio Summit 2011, and uh, just saw my heroes. I, I was on the same panel with, with guys like Phil Henry. That's crazy. But uh, now i got to go make out with them. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, it's Phil Henry here at Worldwide Radio Summit 2011 in Hollywood. What's your favorite? I think it's great. I think to get all these people together from around the world, converging to talk about our business, the content of our business, technology, how, there's, how this business should move forward, view the future, view technology. It's been a great success, happy to be part of it. It's always a great event when you get down to issues and, you know, mat subject matters that people actually care about. And I think a lot of stuff they're talking about is what people actually care about and to make our whole industry better. Hi, I'm Linda O'Connor. I'm from Open Star Music Management and I manage a band called Sub. And the Worldwide Radio Summit was incredible. I met a ton of people and I would highly recommend it to any up and coming manager. Congratulations to everyone on the first Worldwide Radio Summit uh, to bring together some of the world's brightest and, uh, and best radio minds with some people from the management side and publishing side, the writing side, the record company side. It's really great to hear everything going on. 
Uh, I was blown away by the presentation today by Triple J Radio in Australia. Uh, proud to see Radio One, uh, George and Zane get recognized, and then see radio stations in America all meeting and exchanging ideas. So uh, radio is very, very much alive. So Joel and Sat, brilliant move, bring us all together. My name is Tony Novia, and this is Chris Novia, and we are here at the Worldwide Radio Summit. 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 Worldwide Radio Summit 2011. Worldwide Radio Summit 2011. Yo, this is Michael Johnson from Capra. Worldwide Radio Summit 2011. It's a wrap.